guys! Welcome back! Oh no, it's the return of the evil loner mouse from the path! Whenever Rose's headset broke on her and she had to use the evil loner mic, that just sounds so terrible half the time. But um, as I kind of have misplaced, uh, do not currently know the location of my uh, detachable mic that goes on my headset, um, and I had a big cup of coffee for lunch. I thought that would make for some interesting video. We're just gonna have to deal with the evil loner mic for uh, this episode and maybe another episode after that, depending on how long my caffeine high lasts. So let's get this show on the road. Let's do this. KPA armor column headed toward your position. Advise you use the UCAV. UCAV. Don't know what that is. Uh, I'm gonna try to pay a little bit more attention to the instructions. I think that would, uh... What are you waiting for? Hit that convoy! Hit the convoy. Oh, 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 I see you up there. Oh, jeez, and Return of the Sun Glare. I'm gonna look for a different game. Or a different game. Oh, yeah, a different game. Ah, grenade! We've got five plus soft targets on the bridge. Recommend you use the Hellfires. Kind of disturbing. Kind of disturbed by the lag, but, uh... And the glare. I'm disturbed by the glare as well. What is shooting me? Ah! Stop it! Stop! We've got five you. plus soft targets on the bridge. Recommend you use the Hellfires. Oh, I died. Oh, what the hell? That was fast. Hmm, just kidding, okay. <clears throat> that was a test run, I was getting There's warmed up. There's a friendly UCAV on site, patching you through. KPA armor column headed toward your position. Advise you use the UCAV. Use the UCAV. Oh, call oh, right, got it. This thing. Oh, hey! Uh, did I use this last time? Was I supposed to use this last time? Uh-oh. Yes. Explosions! Explosions! Oh no, it didn't stop them! Good kill, good kill. Ah! Die! All of you! Death! Do not bomb the arrow that says you! Still some enemy armor down there. Mob them up. Okay. Death from above. Raining death. You! Foot soldiers! No you! No you! That's another down. Good what shot. What are you thinking? Do you not know the meaning of no you? You is at bingo fuel. Returning to base. Cool. That was... Oh, that was... Huh. Super. We need to get out of here now. That was super. Into the I'm oh, okay, it must have Take actually given me credit. Gun. Let's get off this bridge. I think it actually gave me credit for when I died last. I must have made it to some checkpoint that I didn't know of, because Oh no, I'm the gunner, aren't I? Well the gunner is always the first to die. Where? That one? This one? This thing right here? Is that what you're talking to? Oh jeez, I hope that's what you were talking about. Cause I just blew it up. I can't drive like maniacs. I can't even. I can't. Ah, what is wrong with you? Jesus, I can't see. I'm getting motion sick. I'm working. Uh, I cannot. It's one of theirs. Evil Goliath. It's our evil twin Goliath. Oh no. Oh, did I? Oh, I failed. What did it say? Use your what? Ugh. I certainly, certainly do hate redoing the same missions. <sighs> Over. I'm driving. Jacobs, man, the... But when you're doing this for the first time and you have to try to pay attention to what they're telling you, when you don't know what they're telling you, um, you know, kind of as they shout at you incoherently amongst all the explosions and gunfire, it's a little bit hard. Ugh. Ugh. It's so, the camera, the mouse is so sensitive. Ah, uh, and then the Goliath, got it. Hold still! What, what counter, god damn it! Ugh, countermeasures, use the countermeasures, that's great. Just so you guys know, I don't usually pay attention, or I don't usually, um, not that I don't pay attention, I don't usually see big letters that kind of are obvious when I'm watching in the vi in the replay, when I'm watching my own videos. Because I'm too busy looking at what I should be shooting at. It's kind of like I'm looking, uh, I'm looking right here where my crosshairs are. I'm not looking down to where the instructions are usually being displayed. Ah! Uh, God, ugh. I not like this. I can't see a damn thing. Alright, now there was... F, F. There, I did. Um, yeah, I totally didn't see that. And, uh. Alright, so apparently you have to keep hitting F could repeatedly. Alright. Fourth time's a fucking charm. 
You have to keep hitting F repeatedly as you're shooting. As they're driving like freaking idiots. As you're trying to shoot it and destroy it. Okay, no, I got it. No, that's alright. We can multitask 80 billion things at once. We can do that. Sure, no problem. Ugh. While they're kind of thrashing the screen around everywhere. Alright, alright. You, Goliath. You, Goliath? You're about to be offline. Every time I see text, I can't shoot it! I cannot shoot it while you're driving like freaking insane. Alright, that time. Uh, it's quite amazing how fast I'm getting sick of doing this. Last time. Last time, last time. I'm doing nothing but spamming F, so. So let's, let's try this again. I don't know. I don't know how I failed that one because I was hitting F every time it said to hit F to do the anti-missiles, but that's okay. If the game wants to be a little bit ridiculous, who am I to judge? You know what, guys? I will see you when I'm done with this. I do not want to be. I don't see how you're supposed to be able to target a single fucking thing with how crazy they're thrashing the goddamn camera around everywhere. Everywhere! Alright, I think I might have it this time. It's already on fire. Or at least it was on fire. Jesus, Um. God, where is it? I'm trying. I'm so so not into this. It's not gonna weigh that easily. You're chasing it! Damn right! The hell Watch the bus. Watch fucking the God Ugh. What are we doing? Just hold the fuck still! Did we get away? No, no, we didn't get away. It's about... about time. I did not find that fun. I did not find that portion fun. Actually. This is Connor Morgan. It's kind of Enemy ridiculous. armor column rolling in from the south. Request immediate airstrike at the mouth of the bridge. Negative on the airstrike. Friendly units are danger close. You need to hit them now. Negative. We don't have a solid ID on hostile targets. Oh, fuck it. Warpath, fire on my position. What are you doing? Look for the flare. Repeat that. It sounded like Drop you said. Drop the biggest fucking bomb you got on the flare. Affirmative. Airstrike inbound. Drop. Well, that's Connor, great. Wait. Strike leader, confirm you have a visual. Yay, Connor's trying to make us murderers. Hooray. Package away. God, Connor, you just got us all killed, didn't you? Is that the end of the Connor! game? Can anyone see him? Connor! He was like 10 feet away from us. And what about us? Does anybody care about Jacobs? <laughs> Does anybody. Ugh. This is Europa News in London. Wait. The Underground Voice of Freedom Network reports that American resistance fighters have joined U.S. military forces in a major offensive in occupied San Francisco at the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, might not be a great idea to the be coordinated uh, attack fighting may on a bridge. prove to be a turning point in America's guerrilla war against the Korean occupation. Hmm. Meanwhile, the EU Defense Council has called an emergency session to plan support for our allies across the Atlantic. Okay. Uh... What now then? Home is where the war is. Is that it? Is that the end? Is that the ending? That's not the ending, is it? 
Oh my god, that's the end? Are you are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Huh. Well, um, hmm. Oh, wow, hmm. I, I suppose this is where I give my conclusionary thoughts on the game. Well, let's see what to say when they kind of don't have any sort of conclusion to the game at all, in my opinion. You can disagree all you want. Um, but that is not, in my opinion, a satisfactory ending. Didn't really seem to be much, um, resolution. I mean, other than, yay, there was a big fight on the Golden Gate Bridge, and Connor's probably dead, which at least that makes me feel a little bit better. It makes me like the game a bit more for him being dead. We're probably also dead, um, because we were, you know, 10 feet from him. But, um, yes, yes, thank you, John. Much appreciation to John. Uh, so, the game. Honestly, okay, I can I can say that up until maybe the last two or three missions, I was really enjoying the game, but the last two missions, I really did not enjoy too much, very much, um, really, at all. Um, I don't know, I just, maybe, I, I can't really put my finger on why. Maybe because, um, it was a lot of, I, I don't know, um, ridiculous? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I can see why people would, would give the game um, a bad rap, because it does have a poor conclusion and a poor ending, and of course, the ending is the last thing that you have. It's the last, it's the last bite that you take of the meal that is the game, and you want that last bite that you take to be delicious and savory and the best bite of the entire meal that way that taste in your mouth stays and you can just mm, and when you think about it for the next few hours you're just like oh that was so good especially that last bite that um you know stayed with you but now i kind of have a sort of bitter blech, taste in my mouth um <laughs> as far as the last bite is concerned um oh man i so did i Maybe it's just me, but I did not like that thrashing camera when you had to try to, um, you know, react the moment that he says, okay, hit the anti-missile or the anti-whatever, um, you know, evasion tactic or whatever. As soon as they say it, or maybe even prematurely before they say it, you need to hit that button and, um, you know, with the camera thrashing around, that's not really fun if I can't see what's going on. Um, that and, uh, you know, the, the lack of re resolution to the storyline. Um, so it really seems like if you spread the entire plot, the storyline, what we get to play as well as the introduction and the, just the, the entire story that we're presented with, lay that on a timeline, right? Beginning to end, which we assumably win. So that would be, you know, however far in the future. They basically made the game into... All right, let's get rid of that. I don't know if there was something at the end, but uh, let's pretend like there wasn't. Let me turn the... not that. Let's turn the volume down so I can hear myself think. That'd be nice. Audio, master, go down. Right, so if you lay the entire story on a timeline, the part that we actually get to play is somewhere towards the end, but not at the end. So I'm kind of feeling like you get neither the um, the first shock of when the story happens, when Korea first invades, and, and the shock of that, oh my god, on our homeland. And we're not getting the victorious triumph elation of, yes, victory, we've conquered them, type feeling either. So um, I was actually hoping that, that since they put us so far along in the story, on the timeline of the story, you know, where, where um, the West Coast is already being occupied, that we would at least get to be at the climax of the end, you know, where we get that, oh my god, we won, we did it, we defeated them, and, uh, and basically, I, I don't know why they did that, what were they thinking, I don't know, maybe there were some other problems involved, but how I feel about it is, um, you know, we played uh, a somewhat relevant part, a, a somewhat uh, significant part 
in the whole war, and we won a battle. Not the battle, not the war, but we won a battle, and that's what it was, and that's kind of great, but I was expecting something a lot more climactic to be the ending, such as, ha ha, we did it, we won, but I should have been suspicious because from the beginning, I was never presented with any real um, plan of how we were going to turn, okay, we'll possibly turn the tide of the war in the game, but none of the plans, none of the missions really had the feeling like they were capable of literally ending the war and dealing a finishing blow. So I really wish that they had maybe scooted the game further down the timeline. That way we were able to play to the point where we actually defeated the Korean forces and took back the US. That would seem a lot more epic in my opinion. So. Well, uh, there really isn't too much more to say other than, like I said, really, really enjoyed the game and really enjoyed some of the missions up until maybe the last two to three missions. You could probably tell by my commentary and my narration at what point I started to get really frustrated and um, not too happy with what I was doing. Uh, so that's really odd. I wonder why that is. Maybe I was maybe the missions were getting kind of repetitious and it was just getting a little old, needed something um, a little bit more flashy for the endings. So all in all, I say that this game isn't a bad game. I say that it had huge, enormous potential. Great, great potential. And it fell short of that potential. And that's the problem with um, creating such an awesome trailer like they did for this game uh, and setting up a storyline as incredible as it did and then not living up to the potential that they laid down. So overall I think I would give this game probably a 7 out of 10. It's probably what I would give it. I don't know, uh, you know, I, I can't really give you the scale of what those figures would be. But it feels like a 7 out of 10, which would be, what, a C? If it were grading, it would be a 70%, a C. Which is passing, which is passing. Uh, it's average, because this felt like it wasn't, you know, it had a really, really negative, uh, I don't know, I had a negative feeling about the ending. I didn't really like the ending too much. Really liked the beginning. So that's why, uh, you know, they kind of cancel each other out, get 70%, somewhere around there. So anyways, guys, that wraps up this Let's Play of Homefront. Let me know how you like the first person shooter Let's Play series or, or how you liked me doing a, let's, uh, a first person shooter. I will consider doing similar first person shooters in the future, depending on, um, you know, what kind of feedback that I get. And uh, yeah, just let me know your thoughts and I will see you next time. Cause freedom made so free when you breathe red and white and blue I'm giving all of myself cause that's what I do And they call me warrior They call me loyalty